Here we go. Here's a girl. I, I penciled in her eyes and her mouth so you can sort of bring her face in the foreground. You can see it. Here's her eye and her eye. And here's her mouth, let's say. This is the top of her head right here. It's colored gold like she's got one here. Coming down to her long one hair, hanging down in front of her right there, okay? Now, this is, this is that penis right here penetrating her vagina. She is on her knees. This is her buttocks up in the air going down to her knee. And then her knees bent. She's, you know, she's, she's kneeling down. And then this leg is shooting out behind her body because she's positioned that way. And now going down, this is her hip right here, going down to her knee and her, her knees bent and going up to her foot right here. Okay, guys, here we go. Watch this. When the sons of God saw the beautiful woman of the human race, they took him they wanted as their wives. Watch this. Okay. Can't make this up, guys. This is not something you can make up. This either is there or it's not there. Watch this. Okay, here we go. And there's a perfect fit, huh? There she is. Okay, let's look up here. There's an alien penetrating. She's up here too, but there's an alien penetrating a female vagina. There's a woman on her knees in front of him. Okay, guys, watch this. Got another very important picture. Okay, this one, you got it, Daniel? Yep. I'm going to use this paper copy before I use the clear plastic copy. Everybody see the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill? That's the all-seen eye, supposedly, of God. That's the all-seen eye of Horus. Horus is Lucifer. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly what the all-seen eye is, okay? And this is it. This is my spiritual gift, guys. The gift of knowledge, the gift of discernment, and the gift of prophecy. Here you go. Here's the devil. Here's his eye right here. Here's his other eye right here. So there's the eye and there's the eye. Now watch this. Here's a little horn right here, and here's a real big horn that goes up here. Now watch this. His other horn goes like this and is wrapped around the head of the kid. Okay? Now, here's the nose of the devil. It's like a big nose, and here's his lips. Top, middle, the line between the lips and the bottom lip. And here's his chin. Okay? There it is. That's pretty clear. You got it, Dan? Okay, I think that's probably pretty recognizable for you guys. Now I'm going to switch over here so you can see it on a clear plastic layer. Here it is. Okay, now watch this. So here's the devil, and the devil's other eye is the eye of the kid that the alien is holding. Now watch this. Here we go. Uh -huh, I, got, I got a pretty big piece of tape on there, but... It's all up there too, but watch this. There we go. Perfect. So, we just put... There we go. There's one piece. And... Uh -huh. Let's get it right where it goes. There we go. Let's see. Right there. There it is. Okay. We just put the devil on here. We have an alien penetrating a female vagina. Okay? The alien is inside the body of the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is holding a kid. The kid that the Pharaoh is holding has a dead sheep in his head. Let me tell you something, everybody. Uh, Dan, you can zoom out for a sec so you can see me. Listen to me. That is me. That is you. That is your kids. That is everybody you love. I guarantee it. It's a dead sheep in your head. You know why? Because you're a slave to sin. And you're born into a prison you can't even see. You're born in slavery. Okay, guys. Here's the, here's the story. We're going to go back to the Bible. Right here. This is the book of Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. Go look it up for yourself. Look up the King James Version. It, uh, it says it very clearly. Daniel 2.43. He's talking about a, a dream that the king had, and the king was very disturbed, Nebuchadnezzar, and he said, hey, someone interpret this dream, or I'm going to kill all the wise men in Babylon. Daniel interpreted the dream. 
And it was about the kingdoms of the world. And here it is, the last kingdom, guys. The last kingdom of the world will be the toes. And he says, and the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay. So the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Now watch this. Dan, can you follow me over here? There they are, mingling themselves with the seed of men, producing a hybrid kid where there's a sheep dying in his head, and one eye is the eye of the devil. Now watch this. Go up here, Dano. Remember our sheep from right here? It's, it's, in one way, it's the queen. One way, it's a sheep. When I rotate it this way, it's half devil, half sheep. What does it say? It shall be partly strong and partly broken, so the kingdom shall be divided. Okay, there's the, there's the devil, the alien, and there's the human sheep that's dying right there. Sorry about my phone ringing, guys. Anyway, so right there, you can see from this hieroglyph that there was, there's, there's the mingling from the sons of God, Satan and the fallen angels, producing a hybrid species, which is the all-seeing eye of the devil, which is on the back of our dollar bill. Hannah, could you go over here? Can you, you got it? This says, announcing the birth of the new order of the ages. And you see it? It's the all-seeing eye. You see that eye right there? That is, let's go back over here. That is the eye of that kid that was produced by fallen angel intervention in the human race. Okay, guys. I'm going to cut real quick and grab that phone, and then I'm going to finish this up. Okay, guys, we're back. Here we go again. Now watch this. I'm going to show you some more images. And Dan is going to zoom in on this guy. I call this guy the creature. Okay. He's, he's facing me. It's a profile. He's wearing a yellow turban. There's his eye. There's his pointy nose. His mouth is wide open. Okay, now watch this, guys. Here's that sheep again. Here's the sheep's eye coming down the forehead to the nostril closest to you, and there's a nostril on the far side of the face, the sheep's mouth is open, and the tongue is hanging out. Okay, now watch this. The creature, I'm going to move him down to here, and I'm going to give him the sheep, and he's taking the sheep, and he's stuffing it in his open mouth. You got it? Yeah, we're there? Okay, so the creature is eating the sheep. Jesus told, him, told Peter, I'll give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Your death is going to glorify God. Well, let's turn it upside down. We'll turn it upside down, and it's right out of that hieroglyph. Watch this. I'm going to show you the whole thing. I'm going to go to this page. Okay, there's the guy, the creature, eating his own kid. The kid has a dead sheep in his head, and the creature is stuffing his own kid in his mouth. Now watch this. I'm going to move my finger, and you're going to see the head of the alien upside down. What did Isaiah say? Those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret, which is killing us, and think no one will see them or know what they're doing. They turn everything upside down. Let's turn it upside down. Watch it. There it is. Okay, now I have that same thing over here. Hang on. Dan you ready for me? There it is. Okay, here it is. Ready? Here's the creature. Here's his eye. Here's his eye. Here's his nose. His mouth is wide open like a serpent. The devil's called the serpent. Okay, watch this. He's got a tongue like a snake. See it? It comes out, it bends, and it goes back this way. Okay, watch this. I'm going to turn it upside down now. Actually, it's right side up. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to set it right where it goes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. This is it's getting kind of tricky right now, guys. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, where is his hand? Uh, let's, see. let's see. There's his hand. Got it. There it is. There we go. Right on top. There it is. So here we go. Let's see. Let me line it all up again. 